Hello and welcome to another quick, I'll say quick, another edit from me with uh, Luminar Neo. Again, I've uh, sponsored by Luminar Neo. I've, I've got this uh, software and I wanted to show you some of the stuff it can do. So let's jump straight on over to the program. I'm in the uh, Neo catalog at the moment and uh, you can see there's an image above there that I've done something to. You can see the images either side are very clean and simple and no light. Well, I did something to that one a little while ago. I'm gonna do something to this one. I wanna do something to this image to make this image pop pizzazz and give it a bit of zing and make it different to all the other images um, that you might see or let's just fake it shall we let's just do something that is going to bring this image alive that's going to make this image worthy of um, showing on your instagrams so straight into edit and you can see you've got this nice column opens up down this side and when it all drops in you'll see it all illuminates bing there you go okay we're now in the editing suite and the first thing we're going to do is going to check the crop and make sure my crop and I'm happy with it. You can just tilt it there. I like the fact the horizon's straight just on that side. You can see it's on that line. So I'm happy with the crop as it is. Um, we're gonna go into some textural stuff. Let's start with AI structure. We're gonna whack the structure up. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> we're gonna whack this, whack this um, adjustment up and see what it does to the image. Nice and full, bring it all up. And we're gonna turn it off and on and just to see what it all does. Once it drops in, that is, it's gonna take a few seconds for it to drop in. There you go, it's dropped in. And already we've made a massive, massive improvement on that. So I'm gonna keep that up nice and high. Sky, there's lots of texture in that sky. So I reckon if we bump this sky right up, you can see there, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. You can see that it's pulling out all that beautiful detail in the sky, absolutely loving all that charisma. Right, that's it, done. I'm going to go down here, show you on the eye, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. It's already an amazing looking image, isn't it? But I want to do a bit more. I want to put a bit more color to it, and a bit more zing to it. Um, so we open the sky section. We've got uh, sky orientation, is that? Well, we don't need that. Sky masking, side scene, relighting, reflection, sky adjustment. What a sky adjustment. Well, none of them are up, up, none of them working because we haven't picked a sky. So you can actually change the sky if you want. You can go in and pick something. Look at that galaxy. You can have a galaxy sky if you wanted to. And you can add that. When it drops in, it'll give you a, a look of what it might look like when this galaxy is behind, uh, behind or they're totally fake, but it might be fun to use. So let's just see if it's going to drop in for us. Look at that, you've got a galaxy behind here. Now you could darken this foreground and you could actually make that work. Is it, is it something you do? Is it a bit crazy? I don't know. Well, I don't know, but I don't think it's quite the sky we're going for really, is it? Uh, dramatic skies, we've got dramatic sunsets, Blue skies, sunset, sundry, custom. Well, what about starry night? I just don't think it would work, but you could keep that and darken this foreground down and make it look like the moon shining on it. And I think it would actually be quite, do you know what? Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's just, let's just fake this. Let's just, let's just see what this, we'll see what we can do with this image. So I'm going to keep that. Okay. And then I'm going to go back into here and this is going to give you some ways of moving the sky around which so we need it as it is we've got the milky ways we need to pull it across don't we vertical there we go no oh, don't want that do we put it back to where it was so we need to get the sky i need to get the sky so that the milky way is over to the left Let's put all them back to zero. Um, masking, scene re scene relighting. Let's just have a look at scene relighting. See what that's doing is that's darkening down the foreground, which is what it would look like if it was if it was actually in the night sky. We've got no human in it. Reflections. See, it's actually making all this down here. Look, if I turn this off it's going blue, normal color. If I turn it on, it's actually making the reflections look like it should be there. That's, uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll keep that for now, I'll keep that. 
Um, but what I want to do is I want to try and move this across really, but it's not, I just, I don't think it'll let me do it. Grain, atmosphere, warmth, um, blah, blah, blah. Now I'm going to keep that as it is. Horizon position, vertical position. Let's go all the way to that side. Let's go all the way to that side. That's, that's what we want, isn't it? Vertical position. So we need to move it across a little bit. No, that's making it bigger. Don't want that. But horizontal position. No, it's not working. So I'm going to leave that as it is. We'll just go with that. Um, right. So let's move down. What we want to try and do is um, we need to make this more like the like the like the moons hit it. So we would go into color relight brightness far brightness back no let's go to atmosphere that's fog we don't want fog dramatic let's have a look at that that's made the sky punch out quite a bit quite like that quite like that it really is looking a bit uh, a bit interesting now isn't it a little bit more like you can't really get let's go whack this up and see what it does mystical is making making that foreground a little bit hazy and dreamier. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. See what happens when I bring the shadows up. No, I wanna bring the shadows down, if anything, to make this darker and moody, because it's lighting from the background. I know it's cheating. I know this is cheating. Toning is what we need, toning. We need to tone this down, so this foreground is more of a warmer, uh, sorry, more of a colder blue color. So let's mask, and we're getting this AI mask, and what this is going to do is use this magic AI and it's going to hopefully pick up this foreground section and then we can uh, work with that without affecting the sky. Yeah, right, so we've got sky, floral, flora, sorry, architecture, water, mountains and natural ground. Let's try that. What's that going to give us? Okay, mountains. Is it going to give us anything extra on the mountains? Let's try flora. I'm waiting for it to catch up with itself. There we go. Uh, do we need mountains in the background? Let's just turn mountains off for a second to see if it gets rid of the background. If not, I might have to brush them back out. So we have to put the mountains back on because it's got rid of them. But I'm going to brush these back ones out, hopefully, once it comes back in. There we go. So everything I want masking, all this section here has been masked because this is the bit I want to bring the blues out in. So I'm going to go back out to AI mask and bring up a brush. And I think I do a negative, which is it control. Let's just put my finger on control. Uh, I need to go size down for sure. Ah, uh, erase. So I need to erase that off of there. There we go. Okay. And over this side as well, I'm just going to erase that off because we don't want to affect that in the colours. Okay. And maybe just a little bit down here in the water. Let's get rid of that down there as well. And we want to try and keep all that as the natural colour of the sky. Right, so we're going to go in adjustments and we're going to go with saturation. And what I want to try and do... Uh, balance let's have a look I want to I want to bring up the blues all right so I'm on saturation at the moment and I've got the hue here I want to try and bring this to blue look at the difference in that so if I can go back up here and turn it on and off off you see where it's the wrong color for the night sky and I switch it on it goes blue off and on it's gone blue which is absolutely perfect for the night sky so there's a bit more saturation i actually think that looks pretty good as it is it's almost natural looking but what i want to do is i want to bring out a bit of this accent to the highlights to make it look like the moon's reflecting on it a little bit more and just tone it down or tone it in just a little bit more i'm just going to warm those to a bit more magenta -y color knock them off Knock it on. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Quite like that. Highlights. 
the highlights. Are we going to do anything with that? Bring the saturation right up and see if we can bring the highlights to a, a, a more greeny blue colour. Just bring the tone down slightly. Pretty cool. Knock that off. Knock it on. It's definitely looking a little bit more like the sky is affected. Um, the amount. Just bring that down. Looks like the sky's reflecting then on this hillside and it's looking more like night than daytime. So we've made that daytime image there. We've turned it to night. Daytime, nighttime, daytime, nighttime. I think that's amazing what it can do. Right, uh, what else would we probably do with this? I don't know. Let's go to what's dramatic do. Let's just pump this up and see what it does. Ooh, gosh, no, 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 no. Uh, relight. Do we need to relight it? Not really. In fact, we could. We could actually, we could actually darken the foreground. Let's just bring that down a little bit. Just turn it. It's not done anything yet. I've got to wait for it to happen. There we go. So turn it off. Turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. In fact, I think we just need a little bit. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant so far. I like the way this is dark and in shadow, and I like there's a little bit of a hint of light where maybe the, the you know the moon could be out and just catching the side of it. But I do want to just punch a little bit if I can. So let's go into standard. Um, we want a standard brush, don't we? Really develop this is the bit we want masking a brush okay and then we want to and size is small enough softness 100% soft and strength yep spring the strength down to about 60% and then I want to go into exposure and bring the exposure up just a little bit oh not all of it only where the brush is so in fact I'll do that I think and then I just do I just brush over the bit I want it affecting. Oh no, what have we done? Let's mask paint in this bit. Let's just see if I'm doing this right. Nothing seems to be happening at the moment. I'm not quite sure I've done that correct. Let's have another little look, wait for it to catch up. Okay, so I have. So yeah, turn it off. And you can see it goes normal. Turn it on, and it's just bringing out the highlights there. So that's what I want. So I raise a little bit because I don't want it down this section here. I only want it to affect the lightish areas. And again, I need to make my brush size smaller. And I just want to paint in some of these little sections that might just reflect a little bit of the light. And just again, before, after. Looks like my memory card ran out on my camera. So we're well, back onto Neo. Let's go have a look, a quick look. So um, yeah, I think um, if we turn that off and turn it on, I know this is fake. I know that this isn't a true image, but I cannot believe the difference I've just made to that image. I think that looks amazing <laughs> to what it was before. So I'm gonna put the before and after up on the screen. And this is just another test to show you what you can do to an image if you really really want i know you can't get there and get that shot like that in those conditions so if you want to fake it that's the way to fake it i wouldn't recommend doing this but for a little bit of fun a little bit of interest as long as you don't pretend that it's real i don't see what the problem is just don't tell anyone you did it be honest with it and say ask people if they like it I'm going to disappear now. Ciao for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. And um, yeah, link to Luminar Neo is in the description. And it's a one-off payment. It's about £70. And you can get to play with it and do what you want to your images as much as your heart's desire. But please don't pretend they're yours. It really is sad if you do. Be honest with it. Say it's a creation. And uh, don't see what the harm is. I love that. I think that's awesome. I'm going to stick it on Instagram and see what people think. But you, tell me down below. Ciao. Bye. Wow.